Hello dear students. In this video we will solve this question. What is the pressure in Pascal inside a 1 meter cube cylinder containing 10 kg of hydrogen gas at 25 degrees Celsius? So here R value is given. R is the gas constant and equation uh, for the ideal gas is given. So according to the equation uh, we can write it like this. If we want to calculate the pressure, we can write it like this nRT upon P. Sorry, uh, we want to find the pressure. So, we will write P for the pressure on the left side and V here. So, this is the formula and now we will put the values here in the formula. N, N is the number of moles. So, we have to calculate the number of moles for hydrogen gas. N is equal to given mass upon molar mass. So, given mass is 10 kilogram and molar mass of hydrogen gas is 2 grams per mole. So, we have to convert this kilogram into gram 10 multiply 1000 divided by 2. So, now units are uh, mole and now we will Put this value here 10 multiply 1000 divide by 2. Next is our gas constant that is 8.31 and on the right side uh, we will write the units. So for N units are mole for the R units are joule per Kelvin per mole and 1 joule is equal to 1 Pascal meter cube. Why I am writing this? Because we have to find the units of, uh, find the pressure which is in the Pascal. So, here we will write this Pascal meter cube per Kelvin per mole. And here Pascal meter cube per Kelvin per mole. Next is temperature and temperature is 25 degrees Celsius and here according to the units we have to convert this degree Celsius into Kelvin. For that we have to add 273 to the 25 value. So it becomes 298 Kelvin. So here we will write 298 and its units Kelvin and in the denominator volume we have to write. So, volume is 1 meter cube. 1 meter cube. Here also we will write the units also. So, if we divide 10 by 2, it becomes 5 multiply 1000 multiply 8.31 multiply 298 divide by 1.0. So, here uh, if we want to find the units so, we can check like this meter cube cancel with meter cube, mole with mole inverse, Kelvin inverse with Kelvin. So, units become Pascal and here also we are uh, calculating the pressure in the Pascal unit. So, this much pressure in Pascal will be the answer. So, here you can see 5 and here 1000. I have written here 1000. 2000 uh, we can write it like this 10 raised to the power 3 multiply 8.31 multiply 298 divided by 1.0. So here you can see 5 multiply 10 raised to the power 3 multiply 8.31 multiply 298 divided by 1.0. So it means answer should be D option. Let's check the mark scheme. Yes, you can see here uh, D option is right. So, this is the whole solution of this question. If still you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching. All the best.